My father is one of 11 children. He uh, grew up in uh, Beverly, Mass, and at age 18, he went to work for General Electric in Lynn, which is a large aircraft engine facility. And he went there as a bricklayer apprentice program. And back then, GE had 340 boilers, furnaces, and incinerators. So he learned the craftsmanship of being a bricklayer by working on the boilers, furnaces, and incinerators, but also doing construction work in, in GE. At that time, they did all their work internally. And my father always worked in jobs on the side. Uh, we would do two-story chimneys on the weekend. My brother and I would tend him. He did tile work. He was always very craft, craft oriented. He could do anything with his hands. So my mother was always pushing him because he could do better to leave. And he eventually said, I did my 30 years. I'm going to retire from GE and go at age 51, and he did. And so we left General Electric and started Sam Pong Refractories, which was involved in the boilers, furnaces, and incinerators, the same thing he did for General Electric. He was so admired by even people back then. A lot of the craftspeople that worked for him in GE left and went in business with him, joined him as employees. So he was alone until June of 76 when I, when I joined him. We had 17 employees at that time. Zampo Refractors works for any business that had a high temperature enclosure, whether it would be a heat treating furnace, whether it be a boiler, or it would be an incinerator. My father had the capability of taking on any kind of work. So he did refractory work, but he'd get into a plant, and if they wanted some minor construction activity done, he would also do that. He would do anything to keep the employees working 40 hours a week, and he had many talents, so that was very easy for him to do. When my father started Zampo Refractories, his philosophy was to always to take care of the customer and he always took an engineered and consultative approach so a customer would be using certain types of materials and he would say to them yes th those are by spec you could use those materials but I would recommend you doing this when a customer had a warranty problem his philosophy was he would just fix the problem he would never go back looking for more money arguing with the customer that it wasn't correct he would just fix the problem we still carry on those philosophies today he always believed in the working man because he was a working man himself he always truly believed in the craftsmen that work for us you know, they'd be treated fairly, they could be given good benefits. When he came over from General Electric, he brought the General Electric feeling about benefits to our company that we still carry out today. When the people come to work at Zampo, we, should, we, believe, we will truly believe everybody's treated the same. I mean, the benefit level we give the employees is the same for the person sweeping the warehouse all the way up to myself. And we, 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 we believe in that. We believe that everybody should be treated equally and the same. A great reward of all these benefits that we give you know, to our employees is that they stay here. Our turnover is very, very low. And uh, what helps us, you know, with our, with our clients, because our clients see the same people over and over again. They feel confident that our people understand their plans, the safety hazards in their plans, how to react with the clients. Even though we've grown over the years, we, we, we truly try to continue to run this as a family business. And the values of the family we try to carry through with our employees. You know, even though we're a lot larger than when my father and I really, really started with about 17 people, we have three or four hundred today. We do the job the right way for the client. Not might be the best way for Zampel, but it's the best way for the client because we end up putting our name on that product. Clients have taken us around the country because they want a consistent product. Their greatest thing is downtime. If those plants go down, it costs them hundreds of thousands of dollars. So they have to make sure that the product we're installing does the job and we get it done in, in the right amount of time. It doesn't matter if the plant's in a two-week outage and the work doubles or whatever happens at that plant. We still have to get it done in our required time. We just have to bring more resources to the job. So by having the same employees show up at your plant every day, they get consistent work, they get consistent safety standards, and you know it's positive for both us as a company and also for our clients. We've been able to you know, consistently hold on to our clients, and we work with them even through these tough times. We understand they're going through tough times, we're going through tough times, and we're in this together. We've reinvented our company over the years many, many times because a lot of the early industries, the tanneries, heat treating, forge shops, foundries, a lot of those activities unfortunately are no longer in the United States. Over the years there have been several, several clients and several types of work that have helped us to grow. One of our claim to fame is what we're noted for in the United States is waste energy. We started out with Resco and now Wheeler Brader Pot of Waste Management and we followed them around the country. The other one is a similar company called Cavanta that we started here in uh, Haverhill, Massachusetts, and we've also grown with them in the United States. On the facilities management side, we've had the advantage of working for GE. We were the first facilities management company that GE hired nationwide in the United States. Verizon, Fairpoint, Analogic, and a lot of very fine companies. 
when, when I joined my father, one of my main missions was to in increase our exposure in, in the industry, so to increase our sales. So uh, my father uh, took out his business cards and he scratched out his name and he wrote in Jim Zampel with a pen and he said, go chase smokestacks. And that's what I did. So every day I'd go out on the road and back then you didn't have all the security around industrial plants. You could enter a lot of industrial plants. So I would head for the boiler room of most industrial plants that I'd pull up to and uh, the, the gentleman meeting me and greeting me would say, well, you can't be here, you can't come in this way. And I said, well, I, I'm just starting this, I'm just young. So I used my youth to my advantage. And most of the time they would take me in. And they would teach me about their company. They would teach me about the old, my own business that I was getting into, about refractories. I must have shown them some honesty and integrity because they would call me back. You know, at that time, you know, they would be dealing with me directly. They'd call me in the middle of the night, get me out of bed to come fix their plant. I would show up. And so, and they would overlook that I wouldn't know everything. But I also had the ability to bring my father along after I had broken the account, who had the knowledge and know-how. So I developed a very long-term relationship with a lot of these customers that we still have today. As they grew, we grew along with them. Early on, we would travel to that plant. We would ship all our tools and equipment and our manpower. Later on, as we developed those areas, we opened up divisional offices. As far as the structure of Zampel companies, the first company was Zampel Refractories, and that was followed by a company called Zartec, which is a distributor of refractories. One of our major manufacturers made the decision to get out of the distribution business here in New England, and they turned that over to us. We started Zartec because Zampel Refractories was a contractor, and we couldn't distribute as a contractor by SIC codes. We had to start a distribution company, so we did. When we won the, um, we won the, the General Electric contract, we started J.C. Zampel. But even when it started before that, it built the real estate that we have around the country today. Now we also have custodial partners, which is the same thing like Zyrtec. Custodial partners is a distribution for the janitorial supply business. Most recently, we bought, we, uh, bought Vulcan in the UK. That was developed the relationship my son had with the previous owner, who unfortunately passed away, of that company. The Vulcan acquisition has very unique opportunities for us because it integrates us now as a company. Previously, we just did the construction part. We didn't have the materials part. And we're very proud to have them part of this because they're also very good technology-wise, which we are also. So they, we're aligned in that. You know, they've had very much long-term employees. And we're very much aligned in our principles of the way we do business. We're looking for certain qualities in the person. Hard work, honesty, integrity. We believe we can teach them anything. You know, we, you know, we look for people that are used to hard work and not afraid of hard work because that's what we do here. Um, if they don't have all the skill sets, uh, you know, we can happy to teach them. My wife and I do a lot of the recruiting of all the young, young engineers. And we meet with our new recruits, they say, well, you're, you're the owners? I mean, because very seldom owners of companies go into recruiting. And that's how important it is to us to get the right people to work for our company. Many of those employees, some of them that first died with my father, are even still working with us today. I'm, I'm very proud of that fact that they're here that, and, they, and they've enjoyed working here. We've made a, a good life for them. And I'm very proud that my son decided to take on that next step because that means that the people that have been working with me for all these years are also going to have an exit. They'll be able to retire from the Zampel companies. Versus where a lot of companies today are being sold, downsized, right sized. I'm very proud that that will continue on. And I hope someday they will continue on again. One of the ways we thought we could honor my father is give a craftsmanship award to each division. So it's a person that most exemplifies what my father was always all about. So each year we let the, the managers and the supervisors within the division come up with a person. And my son and I and wife go around the country and give this award. When I give that award to my father, it's, it means a lot to me. It means that my people have said that this person is most aligned at this particular year with what, what we're about. You know, we hope to give that award to everybody. You know, that's my long-term goal, that everybody gets, at some point in time gets this award. But with 400 employees, I'm uh, the next generation down the line, a few generations away before we get to do that. My wife and I are very proud that my son decided to join our business. He was very close with my father, which is the most important thing. And um, he understands the values that my father wanted to bring to the table. We have the ability for us to carry on the legacy that my father and mother established early on. Our future is very, very positive. I mean, we do, uh, last year, I think we did work in 22 states. It's just choosing the right opportunities, the right place, and grow. We ha One of our jobs is we have to provide growth for our employees and our management team, all of our people. So that's always on our agenda. You know, 
where is this person going to work next? What, we, what kind of opportunity are we going to open up? The greatest thing for me is when I travel around the country and I see all these people, and I turn to my son or the manager and say, I, I can't believe that all these people work for me. I see the payroll checks, but the reality is when you go out and see their faces in the field, you know, and um, the unfortunate part is I wish I knew all their names, but I don't. They know mine, but uh, I try to work hard at that. A lot of people have worked very, very hard. This is not an easy business, and it's very difficult work and very long hours and away from home and all those types of things. And it's all of our people that have really made us the success we are today. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all my employees for all the craftsmanship and hard work they've shown over the years who have led us to have the opportunity to have 45 years of great, great business. Thank you very much.